Hello, I'm Carol Kaminsky, and I'm a professor of Old Testament at Gordon Conwell Theological Seminary. Let me show you a tool that makes it easy to remember the story of redemption as it appears throughout the entire Bible. It will help you to know where the key people and events and books are found as the narrative unfolds. Well, this is how it works. The phrase casket empty is the acronym for the Bible. The word casket represents the Old Testament. C is for creation in the opening chapters of Genesis. A is for Abraham and the promises God makes to him and his descendants. S is for Sinai, which includes the giving of the law, the Ten Commandments and entrance into the land. K is for kings, kings such as David and Solomon, the Davidic covenant and the building of the temple in Jerusalem. E stands for exile, when Jerusalem is destroyed and God's people are brought to Babylon. T stands for temple, when God's people return to Jerusalem and rebuild the temple. Well, the acronym for the New Testament is empty. E stands for expectations, which is the period in between the Old Testament and the New Testament when God's people are waiting for their God to act. M is for Messiah whose life and whose death and resurrection brings to fulfillment the promises of the Old Testament. P is for Pentecost, when the Spirit comes and salvation extends beyond Jerusalem through the proclamation of the Gospel. Well, T is for teachings, when newly begun churches receive letters on matters of doctrine and how they're to live as followers of Jesus. Y is for yet to come which is about the new creation and the future triumphant reign of God as people from all nations gather around his throne in praise and in worship. Casket Empty points, therefore, to the resurrection of the Messiah and his empty tomb as the center of the biblical story. Well, you can find out more about Casket Empty by going to the website casketempty.com.